What is going on YouTube? My name is Dom and in this video here today, um, actually let me preface that. So, so a while back I made a video, my disruptor tips video and, um, and that basically I, I expressed my view of how I did not like disruptor, how he was just not a class that I was fond of because of his particular lack, what would you call it? His lack of uh, play style variability. He can't do much. He can, he's really only good at one thing, but now I have come to the, to the conclusion. Well, I have, I have come to the opinion that he is one of the best classes in this game. And uh, in this video here today, I'm going to give you some straight up gameplay and give you a reasoned and thought out, a reason and thought out argument as to why I believe Disruptor is one of the best classes in this game, period. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's hop right into the video. So to begin with Disruptor, it's always important, you know, I, I'm going to start with the biggest stuff first and then kind of work my way down to the minute details of why he's a great class and why he is arguably one of the best classes in the game. So let's begin with the big thing and, and that, that's his disruption ability, his passive ability where, you know, he has that big ring of disruption around him. I believe it reaches out about 70 to 75 meters. It has a 70 to 75 meter radius where, you know, it reaches out in all directions where he disrupts people, which gets rid of their minimap and gets rid of their marks so they can no longer see when other people are marked. Now this is incredibly valuable for obvious reasons i mean if you go in and you're going to rush a team head on and uh just meet right in the middle then of course that's important so you you deny the other team intel now of course this leads to him being restricted in his playability options so he's very difficult to use in a flanking stealthy sort of gameplay style he's it's very difficult to use that if you want to stay hidden and have not people not find you it's it's difficult to do that um, now it also makes it difficult in those situations where it's a 1v4 Let's say you're a disruptor and you are the last person that is alive on the team It is difficult to get sneak revives It is difficult to actually operate like that because everybody knows immediately where you are and that's the the biggest thing I hear about him, the biggest concern, I always get those comments, hey, we need to have an on and off button for his disruption ring, which I, I'm kind of on the fence about. I'll express both of my sides uh, to that argument. I think, yes, um, he does need the option to to turn off and on his disruption ability. That would just make him overall so much better, and it would lead to so much more strategy options. But then also on the flip side, I I, I can understand the, the opinion where you say, no, uh, we should not have that ability because there needs to be something that separates disruptor from other classes and which lends it you know which makes disruptor a somewhat difficult class to use or somewhat different because when you play point man you inevitably play way different than when you're playing tech or when you're playing tank or when you're playing disruptor and if we can basically if you give disruptor the option to just turn off his disruption ability he's basically just going to be a wreck em all point man um, honestly, his ring of disruption is just amazing. I mean, you're basically just going to turn him into a full-blown appointment uh, at that point, and you're going to make him way good. I think he's very balanced as it is. I think he's a great class. Um, that kind of leads, you know, and, and so I understand both sides of the token there. Please let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and now, as far as his weapon goes, the TAR-21, I feel, is just one of the best guns um, out there. I, I think it's a very uh, humble gun. I, I'm going to use the word humble. That might be a strange word to, to use for it, but the, but the reason I'm going to use that is because when you have a, ga a gun like an AK-12, that gun hits hard, fires hard, devastating, right? It gets right up in your face, and uh, it will mess you up so fucking quick. And I don't, I call that a very... Not, not, not like a cocky gun, but it's a very in-your-face gun that... Uh, um, is obviously very good. The same thing with the M16. Now, the TAR-21 does a little bit less damage, but it is hella accurate, and I would consider it a very uh, a humble gun in that regard because it's not a very in-your-face gun, but it can be when it wants to. It can hit hard when it needs to. Um, it's incredibly accurate all the time. Now, of course, this class is incredibly important to have on your front line. He really doesn't have much play, any playstyle options other than being on the front line. But when you play on a small map like Quarry, like Scrapyard, um, he is going to cover a ton of the map, which just makes it incredibly important to have him there because you are denying the other team intel. And in a game like this where intel is key, where intel makes or breaks a match, 
you need to deny access to that. Um, there's a few different ways that you can, not very viable ways, but Disruptor is one of the good ways of doing that. Of course, people do have to be pretty close to you in order for that to take effect. And for that to work, if people catch you at a distance, you're going to kind of be screwed. So you always have to try to stay close, uh, um, stay in close proximity to the actual people that you're trying to deny intel to, which can be a risky game. It takes a lot of skill to get used to. Um, it's definitely a different play style than what you might find with any other class, really. And Disruptor is really the only um, assault class that has a playstyle where it is almost demanded of you to be close to the enemies at all times. Um, which I think makes it very, very fun. It's not only very fun, but it's also incredibly valuable. It's something that you're going to see my pro team pretty much using in almost every one of our matches, I believe, because of how valuable it is and uh, uh, how important it is to have on a team. Now, of course, just because this class is meant to get rid of marks and to be on the front line and is very, very good in a pushing situation does not mean that you have to use him in a pushing situation. He's also a good deterrent um, for a flank, so if you know a team's going to meet you head on, if you can get in there and you can hold a specific uh, uh, area of the map down, you can kind of keep the other team in the dark. They might, they'll probably think, oh, there's not going to be a disruptor by himself. And that leads open flanks and whatnot for your assassins, for your point mans, for your uh, preds, whatever, to get behind the enemy team and to fuck them up that way. Um, and it keeps them in the dark uh, about that. And it makes their communication key. You are putting their communication, their team communication under a spotlight because they cannot see marks. So, so it, it really uh, uh, reveals their flaws in communication when you have a disruptor on your team but anyway anyway if you guys have any differing thoughts opinions comments please leave it down in the description uh or down in the comment section i would love to have a discussion with you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you if you have any thoughts opinions comments please leave them down into the comment section below if you did enjoy the video please drop me a like and of course if you are new make sure you subscribe but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video